In part 2 of this interview, we found out that Blood Ties was first a short film and director Yi Wei had always intended for his story to be a full length feature. Now in part 3, we find out what incidents had inspired the Singaporean filmmaker to write and direct the supernatural thriller. Then how, how did the story come about? Was it through a personal experience, research or just creative ideas? It's um, I would say many things are influenced, many stories are influenced by uh, you get inspiration from real life. For me, it's, uh, it's the concept of the Chinese believing that on the seventh day after you, you pass, uh, you'll come home. Okay. Uh, and then uh, there are a lot of traditions where, um, for, my case, for my case, my grandfather, when he passed, on the seventh day, usually the Chinese have some, they, they will lay out some food uh, for the grandfather, for your grandfather or your whoever passed to come home. Uh, and my friend who passed a few years ago, uh, same thing, you know, for Chinese they do that. Then on the seventh day, they will prepare food, and some will put powder on the floor to see if they have their footsteps, yeah. you know? And same thing was done with my grandfather. So, that night, my aunt heard chains being dragged, and uh, some footsteps. Uh, one of them woke up, uh, and into my grandfather's bedroom mm -hmm. and the rocking chair was rocking with smoke in the air and he used to like to rock on the rocking chair and smoking and smoke his pipe. The next morning they woke up they saw footsteps the, the, on the floor as well as the rice. You, you can see when, when you put the rice as a round you know it's like you compact it yep. and it's round. You can see depressions, finger depressions. It's very freaky. Okay. And as I heard about this story, I told people, I realized that more, there, are, there are people out there who also have similar experience. My BP said, hey, you know what? When, uh, I don't know what, I think it was grandfather, he said, oh, they, they were very, they, they also tried the rice thing and they also saw depressions, okay? Um, another freaky thing was my grandfather, before he was being pushed into the, to be cremated, Everyone was standing around him, his body to have a last look, his eyes open. So not just myself, I mean, I wasn't there to see it, but my family members, they all saw it. So they were like, oh, you know, go easy, go easy, you know, don't, don't, don't worry so much. There are things you can't explain. And drawing from all these uh, things that you hear about, uh, and I thought, what if? You die and you come back on the seventh day. What would you do? You know, and I pose this question uh, to myself as I write the story and, and, and I put myself in the shoes of that guy. If I died the way he did and I came back on the seventh day, what would I do? Okay, very interesting. Yeah. interesting. So it, it, it did come from like a personal, personal place, right? Influence. I would okay. say uh, inspiration. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out if Blood Ties can provide something fresh to the horror genre especially when horror movies are losing favour in Hollywood.